Hey everyone, Mrs. Norris here. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna be walking you through lesson 3.5, coffee shop sales. So let's get right into it. In this activity, we're gonna be creating pie and column charts within our Google Sheets. Our know and understand hasn't really changed. <clears throat> How do I use Google Apps to create, collaborate, and share documents effectively? Um, understanding how to use productivity tools correctly will make me more marketable in the future. And as I've already stated, we're going to be creating pie and column charts to illustrate weekly sales. So just sort of our buy-in overview. You've been working at a coffee shop after school for the past eight months. Each week, your manager gives the employee with the highest sales a $25 gift card. You offer to visually illustrate weekly sales by creating pie and column charts to motivate the staff. These will be posted on the employee bulletin board. So we have our new skills that we're gonna be learning today. Merging cells, using fill color, renaming a sheet, insert a new sheet, copy data, sort data, and create pie and column charts. Um, our Google Sheet, we're gonna rename to our first and last name, Lesson 3.5. We will be taking a screenshot today and we'll name that also our first and last name and lesson 3.5. Um, and then we have below here the text that we're going to copy with some review steps that we're going to do. And then you're going to be submitting your PDF as well as your screenshot. So <clears throat> let's take a look first. I've already started in my CAD folder, my sheets folder. I've already started lesson 3.5. So I've already copied the information and I've already completed the review steps. So I've already center aligned bold and changed the font size to 14 of cell A1. I've already center aligned and bold cells A3 and B3 and then column B has already been formatted to currency. So go ahead and pause this video and complete those steps and then we'll come back together and start working on our new skills. All right, so we're ready to start working on our new skills. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so that we can see week of July 6 to 12. Now, what we've learned in the past is that if you double click, you can do that, but we wanna do it different this time. Instead, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put that back to where it was. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna merge. So I'm gonna click on cell A1 and then drag my mouse to um, B1. Okay, and then what I wanna do is I wanna merge these cells together. So if I go to the merge cells, I have options here, okay, and we're just gonna click merge and it will merge the two together, right? So just to show you one more time, I'm gonna click on cell A1 and then I'm gonna drag my mouse to B1 and then I'm going to click the merge cells, but just like that. Okay, so now I can see all of it, and this has turned into a single cell all by itself. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to use fill color. Okay, so we're going to use fill color on this. So we're going to add a background color to cells A3 and B3. So I'm going to click and drag my mouse again to select both of those. And then we're going to fill color. So if I go to fill color, I'm going to dismiss that because it doesn't matter. So fill color, and we're going to change the color to light green one. So I'm going to hover until I find light green one. So there's light green three, light green two, light green one, okay? So to show you that again, <clears throat> I'm gonna select and drag, then fill color, light green one, okay? So you can see it filled just those two cells. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a pie chart, okay? So we're gonna select cell A3, Okay, and then we're going to go to insert and we're going to go to chart. Give it a second to load up. It will take a moment to load because it's collecting your data. Now we don't want to have a um, column chart just yet. We're going to do a pie chart. So from our chart editor where it says chart type, 
I'm going to select pie chart. Okay. Okay, so then the next thing that we want to do is we want to rename this. So we're going to go to customize. Okay. And then where it says chart and access titles, we're going to rename this sales week of July 6 to 12. Okay, and you can see that it changed right here. Okay. The next thing we want to do is change our font size. So where it says um, just making sure. So we're going to change the font. That's all we wanted. The font title <laughs> to wide. Okay, and we're going to change the background color. I'm going to go back up to chart style. And again, we'll change the font to wide here as well. So we're in chart style, and we want to change the background color to light gray one. So I'm going to hover until I find light gray one. First, first pick. Okay. And so once that's done, it's automatically inserted into our um, Google Sheet. But instead of it being um, within our, our sheet here, we want to change it so that it's on its new. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and close the chart editor. And there it is. OK. Now it's on the same sheet as the rest of our information. And we want it to be on our on its own sheet. So I'm going to hover. So I clicked on the image. I'm going to hover over the three dots. And I want to move it to its own sheet. OK. So you see now it says chart number one, sheet number one. We can click here. And then chart number one will show us our chart. So we're going to go ahead and rename it. So where it says sheet number one, if I right click, I can rename. And we're going to rename the sheet to sales by day. And then hit enter. Okay. And then we're going to rename the chart, which you can also click on the arrow. Rename. Sales by day slash high. Okay, so again, clicking on the arrow allows us to rename. Okay. So that's how we enter a pie chart. The next thing that we're going to do is insert a new sheet. So I'm going to pause for just a second and come back. And when I come back, we'll do um, inserting a, a, a new sheet and the rest of our new skills. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to insert a new sheet, copy data, sort data, and then create a column chart. So I'm going to go down to the bottom here where there is this little plus sign, and I'm going to click Add Sheet. And you can see a new sheet has been added. I want to move that sheet. Actually, we'll leave it right where it is for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this one as well. Not what I wanted to do. Sorry about that. So I accidentally made a sheet that I don't need. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. Sorry. So let's rename. Okay. And we're going to rename this new sheet highest to lowest sales. And then hit enter. Okay. And then what we're going to do is copy our data from here to here. And very simply, I'm going to go up to A1. I'm going to click and drag my mouse to select all the stuff that I typed. And then I can go to right click, copy. I can Command C, copy, or I can go to edit, copy. 
but I'm going to copy that information. And then I'm going to go back to highest to lowest sales. Okay. And then I'm going to go to A1, right click, paste. Okay. I could go to edit, paste, or I can, um, sorry, go command V to paste. Either way, my information is now there. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to um, sort our data. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to select cells A3 down to B10. Okay. A3 down to B10. We're going to go to data. Okay. And we're going to go to sort range. Okay. And then we're going to go to data has a header row. This means that the titles will now show up. Okay. And we want to go to sort date by sales. Okay. And then we want Z to A because again, we want highest to lowest. Okay. So data has a header row, sort by sales, Z to A. So once that's happened, you click sort. And you can now see that it's changed your data to show the highest to the lowest sales. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a column chart. So we're going to select A3 again, and then insert a chart. And now it's going to give us the pie since we used the pie last time. So we're going to change it um, back to a column. Okay. And then we want to change the title. So customize chart and access titles. We're going to change this to highest to lowest sales. Okay. We're going to change the font to Tahoma. Okay. And we're going to change um, the background color. So we're going to go to our chart style and change this to Tahoma as well. And the background, we're going to color it light blue three. That's cornflower one, light blue three. Okay. So let me make sure we have everything where it says legend. Mm. We're going to select none. So again, legend position, we're going to put none just like that. Okay. So once all of that stuff is done, um, what else do we need to do? We also want to change the access. I'm going to pause this really quickly and then come back. All right, so coming back together. Sorry, let me get this out of the way. Under horizontal access, where it says slant labels, we're going to change this to 60% just like that. Okay. And then what else are to make sure that we have everything. Give me one second here. Alrighty, sorry about that. So the next thing that we want to do, and the uh, we have two more steps. We're going to change the series color. So what we're going to do is go to series, and we want to change this to um, what are we going to change it to? Dark red three. Sorry, color. 
dark red three. So that's dark red one, two, dark red three. Okay, so I've changed the color of my columns. All right, so that's everything for this. I'm gonna go ahead and X out of it. And then this one I also want to have on its own um, sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the chart, go to my three dots, my vertical ellipses, and I'm going to move it to its own sheet. And then I'm going to click on the arrow and rename it to highest to lowest sales with my um, dash column. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and enter. So now I want these to be side by side so I can move my charts around by just clicking and dragging. So now I have sales by day next to pie chart and then highest to lowest next to the column chart. Okay, so now what I want to do is because when we um, download this as a PDF, you're not going to be able to see that each is on its own and I want to make sure that you've done that. So we're going to go ahead and take a screenshot. So I'm going to take a screenshot here of my work just from here down to my um, tab at the bottom here. Okay. And then if I look at my picture, I see that it shows those tabs. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this the way the directions told me to, which was first and last name lesson 3.5. And then I'm also going to download this as a PDF. So I'm going to go to File. Um, first of all, I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on my first tab here. And then I'm going to go to File, Download, PDF. OK. And then I want to make sure I have all of my pages. So where it says Export, make sure you change it to Workbook and then it will give you everything. Okay, so you wanna make sure you have all four of them. So it should be, again, <clears throat> sales by day, sales by day pie, and if you just click and drag, you can move it around. Highest to lowest, highest to lowest column. And then again, clicking on the first one, file, download, PDF, and then not current sheet, you wanna, it to be workbook because you have more than one sheet. So we're gonna go ahead and export that. And then it should show up on your desktop or wherever your files are stored. So we have a PDF and we have a screenshot. And then those are the two things that you are going to upload through Canvas. So again, you're gonna submit your PDF and your screenshot through Canvas.